Model-based testing is an application of model-based design for designing and optionally also executing artifacts to perform software testing or system testing. Models can be used to represent the desired behavior of a system under test, or to represent testing strategies in a test environment. The picture on the right depicts the former approach. A model describing a SUT is usually an abstract, partial presentation of the SUT's desired behavior. Test cases derived from such a model are functional tests on the same level of abstraction as the model. These test cases are collectively known as an abstract test suite. An abstract test suite cannot be directly executed against an SUT because the suite is on the wrong level of abstraction. An executable test suite needs to be derived from a corresponding abstract test suite. The executable test suite can communicate directly with the system under test. This is achieved by mapping the abstract test cases to concrete test cases suitable for execution. In some model-based testing environments, models contain enough information to generate executable test suites directly. In others, elements in the abstract test suite must be mapped to specific statements or method calls in the software to create a concrete test suite. This is called solving the mapping problem. In the case of online testing, Abstract test suites exist only conceptually but not as explicit artifacts. Tests can be derived from models in different ways. Because testing is usually experimental and based on heuristics, there is no known single best approach for test derivation. It is common to consolidate all test derivation related parameters into a package that is often known as test requirements, test purpose, or even use case, S. This package can contain information about those parts of a model that should be focused on, or the conditions for finishing testing. Because test suites are derived from models and not from source code, model-based testing is usually seen as one form of black box testing. Model-based testing for complex software systems is still an evolving field. Models, especially in model-driven engineering or in object management groups model-driven architecture, Models are built before or parallel with the corresponding systems. Models can also be constructed from completed systems. Typical modeling languages for test generation include UML, SYSML, mainstream programming languages, finite machine notations, and mathematical formalism such as ED, B, Event B, Alloy or COC. Deploying model based testing. There are various known ways to deploy model based testing which include online testing, offline generation of executable tests, and offline generation of manually deployable tests. Online testing means that a model-based testing tool connects directly to an SUT and tests it dynamically. Offline generation of executable tests means that a model-based testing tool generates test cases as computer-readable assets that can be later run automatically. For example, a collection of Python classes that embodies the generated testing logic. Offline generation of manually deployable tests means that a model-based testing tool generates test cases as human-readable assets that can later assist in manual testing. For instance, a PDF document describing the generated test steps in a human language. Deriving tests algorithmically, the effectiveness of model-based testing is primarily due to the potential for automation it offers. If a model is machine-readable and formal to the extent that it has a well-defined behavioral interpretation, test cases can in principle be derived mechanically. Equals from finite state machines equals, often the model is translated to or interpreted as a finite state automaton or a state transition system. This automaton represents the possible configurations of the system under test. To find test cases, the automaton is searched for executable paths. A possible execution path can serve as a test case. This method works if the model is deterministic or can be transformed into a deterministic one. Valuable of nominal test cases may be obtained by leveraging unspecified transitions in these models. Depending on the complexity of the system under test and the corresponding model the number of paths can be very large because of the huge amount of possible configurations of the system. To find test cases that can cover an appropriate, but finite, number of paths, test criteria are needed to guide the selection. 
This technique was first proposed by Ofert and Abdurazik in the paper that started model-based testing. Multiple techniques for test case generation have been developed and are surveyed by Rushby. Test criteria are described in terms of general graphs in the testing textbook. Equals theorem proving equals, theorem proving has been originally used for automated proving of logical formulas. For model-based testing approaches the system is modeled by a set of logical expressions specifying the system's behavior. For selecting test cases the model is partitioned into equivalence classes over the valid interpretation of the set of the logical expressions describing the system under development. Each class is representing a certain system behavior and can therefore serve as a test case. The simplest partitioning is done by the disjunctive normal form approach. The logical expressions describing the system's behavior are transformed into the disjunctive normal form. Equals constraint logic programming and symbolic execution equals, constraint programming can be used to select test cases satisfying specific constraints by solving a set of constraints over a set of variables. The system is described by the means of constraints. Solving the set of constraints can be done by Boolean solvers or by numerical analysis, like the Gaussian elimination. A solution found by solving the set of constraints formulas can serve as a test cases for the corresponding system. Constraint programming can be combined with symbolic execution. In this approach a system model is executed symbolically, that is collecting data constraints over different control paths, and then using the constraint programming method for solving the constraints and producing test cases. Equals model checking equals Model checkers can also be used for test case generation. Originally model checking was developed as a technique to check if a property of a specification is valid in a model. When used for testing, a model of the system under test, and a property to test is provided to the model checker. Within the procedure of proofing, if this property is valid in the model, the model checker detects witnesses and counterexamples. A witness is a path, where the property is satisfied whereas a counterexample is a path in the execution of the model, where the property is violated. These paths can again be used as test cases. Equals test case generation by using a Markov chain test model equals, Markov chains are an efficient way to handle model-based testing. Test models realized with Markov chains can be understood as a usage model, it is referred to as usage statistical model-based testing. Usage models so Markov chains, are mainly constructed of two artifacts, the finite state machine which represents all possible usage scenario of the tested system and the operational profiles which qualify the FSM to represent how the system is or will be used statistically. The first helps to know what can be or has been tested and the second helps to derive operational test cases. Usage statistical model-based testing starts from the facts that it is not possible to exhaustively test a system and that failure can appear with a very low rate. This approach offers a pragmatic way to statically derive test cases which are focused on improving the reliability of the system under test. Usage statistical model-based testing was recently extended to be applicable to embedded software systems. Equals input space modeling equals Abstract test cases can be generated automatically from the model of the input space of the SUT. The input space is defined by all of the input variables that affect SUT behavior, including not only explicit input parameters but also relevant internal state variables and even the internal state of external systems used by the SUT. For example, SUT behavior may depend on state of a file system or a database. From a model that defines each input variable and its value domain, it is possible to generate abstract test cases that describe various input combinations. Input space modeling is a common element in combinatorial testing techniques. Combinatorial testing provides a useful quantification of test adequacy known as n tuple coverage. For example, two tuple coverage means that for each pair of input variables, Every two tuple of value combinations is used in the test suite. Tools that generate test cases from input space models often use a coverage model that allows for selective tuning of the desired level of n tuple coverage. Solutions Conformic Tool Suite, MarTE Low, 
All four tech, smartesting certify it. See also Domain specific language, domain specific modeling, model driven architecture, model driven engineering, object oriented analysis and design, time partition testing. References Further reading OMG UML2 testing profile. 1. Bringmorn, E. Crow Currency Mare, a model based testing of automotive systems. 2008 International Conference on Software Testing, Verification, and Validation. International Conference on Software Testing, Verification, and Validation pages 485 Euro 493 doi 10.1109/ICST 2008.45 ISBN 9780769531274 Practical Model Based Testing, A Tools Approach, Marketing and Bruno Ligard, ISBN 978-0-12-372501-1, Morgan Kaufman 2007. Model Based Software Testing and Analysis with C, Jonathan Jackie, Marcus Beans, Colin Campbell, and Wolfram Schult. ISBN 978-0-521-68761-4, Cambridge University Press 2008. Model-Based Testing of Reactive Systems Advanced Lecture Series, LNCS 3472, Springer Verlag, 2005. ISBN 978-3-540-26278-7. Hongtsu. ALAST 08, Proceedings of the Third International Workshop on Automation of Software Test. ACM Press. ISBN 978-1-60558-030-2. Santos Nito, P. Resend, R. Pardua, C. Requirements for Information Systems Model-Based Testing. Proceedings of the 2007 ACM Symposium on Applied Computing, SAC 07. Symposium on Applied Computing pages 1409 Euro 1415. doi 10.1145 1, 1 ISBN 1-59593-480-4. Rudin Ridge. E-model-based testing adds value. Methods and tools 18, 33 Euro 39. ISSN 1661-402X. A systematic review of model-based testing tool support. Mohamed Shafiq, Yvonne Labash, Carlton University, Technical Report, May 2010. Zonda, Justina. Schief Decker, Ina. Mosterman, Peter J. Ed's Model Based Testing for Embedded Systems. Computational Analysis, Synthesis, and Design of Dynamic Systems 13. Boca Raton, CRC Press. ISBN 978-1-4398-1845-9. Online Community for Model Based Testing, 2011 Model Based Testing User Survey, Results and Analysis. Robert B. Binder. System Verification Associates, February 2012, 2014 Model Based Testing User Survey, Results Robert V. Binder, Anne Kramer, Bruno Liebeard, 2014.